Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm going to be showing you, in my opinion, the best EDC ballast song ever made. Now, of course, this will be a little controversial because people will say, well, you can get ones with better steel. Maybe I prefer a larger one. Hey, maybe I like a spring latch. Maybe I like no latch. That's personal preference. If you're asking me what my favorite EDC ballast song is, or the perfect EDC ballast song, as far as a production knife goes, because you can make anything custom, it has to be this guy, and it's clipped to my pocket, so let's go ahead and listen to that unclip. Dink. And here it is. With no further ado, it is the Benchmade Model 31. Absolutely perfect. All right, there's a bunch of reasons why, and unfortunately, this will no longer be my knife, and I'll tell you later why. Jeff, so perfect. Why isn't it yours? Well, you're going to find out. So anyway, um, this unfortunately is a rarity these days, especially a plain edge. A lot of times you'll see the 31S. Uh, these are long discontinued. Essentially, this is a shorter Benchmade Model 42. We have a 440C blade. We have titanium handles. Again, we have a T-latch. All right, some people might prefer the springers, but I actually really like a T-latch. I don't mind the noise, right? That's uh, music to my ears when I'm flipping. I don't mind it at all. Um, but what makes this one extra special is the fact that it does have a pocket clip. Now, I do happen to have a 42MC, which is a 42 with a pocket clip. That's for a whole separate video, maybe. But I like this one because it is a little shorter. All right, I'm doing less flipping and I'm doing more cutting stuff. The fact that it's compact, it's a little bit lighter. I still have a 3-inch blade, plenty of blade. And I know 440C is not the best steel out there. You know, if I was a magician, I would make this a really good magician or a genie. I put 20 CV for the blade steel or M390. I mean, there's probably a plethora of different steels I'd pick over 440C. But you know what? It still is sharp and it still cuts stuff. I have no problem with the 440C at all. So if it's so great, why am I getting rid of it? Well, I need the money. That's just how life works. I have a nice Balasong collection. In fact, I've sold my entire collection before. And I'm going to do it again because I need to raise money to pay bills. That's just, you know, the grown-up thing to do. I have debt and I want to get rid of it. Um, and uh, in order to do that, I have to sell my toys. And this to me is a toy. Even though it is wonderful to carry and use, there's that collector in me that just doesn't want to beat it up. It's so difficult. It's so hard because it's like you have this beautiful knife. Why don't you just use the thing? And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this or struggle with this. And it doesn't have to be on some crazy level. You don't have to have a $1,000 knife or even a $100 knife. You might have a knife collection of, you know, a bunch of $15, $20 knives. But you have one $60 knife. Now, I think a more common scenario is there's a bunch of guys out there who have, you know, a couple dozen knives in the $100 range or so. But you have that one, like, $600 knife that you really wanted. But you don't carry it every day. You don't use it all the time. Why? Because you kind of want to preserve that value because $600 is a lot of money for a knife, right? Well, I'm in a little bit of the same boat here. I absolutely adore this knife, and I kind of want to carry it every day. But I'm constantly testing things. I'm constantly trying to carry new stuff. I actually don't have a lot of time to carry stuff like this. And unfortunately, it's just sitting away in a display case, or, you know, in some cases, it's literally just sitting in a closet somewhere, or... You know, I have a couple different um, locations for more expensive knives. They're like not full safes, but they're basically lockers. And they're just sitting in there in the dark. And I think it's kind of cool that someone else is going to actually enjoy it. The person I'm uh, selling this to will probably carry and use it. And I think that's fantastic. I'm actually very happy for them. But, of course, it's very sad for me because this is one that would be very, very hard to get back in the future. But I did want to make one last video on it, showing it. I did want to carry it today one last time. And I have to say, I am in love. It is a beautiful little knife. Now, I still have the 3103, which is a stainless steel version of this knife. And there was only 50 in the world ever made. And that will be for sale, too. So, if you happen to be into ballast songs, I'm sure in the next couple weeks, or maybe a month or so, maybe even two months, who knows when. But I'm going to be listing a lot of stuff for sale. So, a lot of ballast songs are going to go up for sale. It's all going to be on Instagram. Um, possibly somewhere else, maybe Facebook or something. But most of the stuff I just do through Instagram because it's easy. So stay tuned for those posts if you do want some uh, some older discontinued ballast songs. Um, I'm, you know, I'm going to be selling a bunch of stuff. It's going to be a clean-out time for me. So I could be a big boy and pay my bills like I should.
So out with the old, in with the new. Like I said, I've sold my entire Battle Song collection before in the past, and I kind of regretted it, and I wanted to get them all back, and I've, I've been trying to collect for years now, but I'm doing it again. It's just out of necessity. And uh, I can complain about it, but quite honestly, it's okay. I'm fine with it. Um, for me, knives have always been an experience. I get knives, I don't have knives. I get a cool knife, I trade it away. I get a great knife, I sell it. It's, you know, it's about the experience for me. When I'm dead, I can't take any of my knives with me. Not even one, can you believe that? So, you know, it is what it is, it's fine. For me, it's all about the journey. So anyway, that's all. Let me know down in the comment section if you happen to have a, uh, a Benchmade Model 31 and uh, how you like it. But I absolutely love mine and I've appreciated it for many, many years. This is not my original one. I probably had three of these. And uh, it, was a, it was so exciting when I got this one back into the collection. But like I said, more times than not, it's just sitting in a case somewhere, just in the dark, all sad. So now it's actually going to see the light of day and it's going to get some cool use on it. So anyway, that's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.